the uh, potential energy function, I will write potential energy as Q because it's just weird to see. Uh, it's just weird to see something like this. It's just better to reduce it to one letter for me. Mm -hmm. And so U of say the inflation field at any one time, an inflation field not, I will call it. And so this is what we know to be the pressure. The energy density is very similar. Um, the energy density, which we represent with rho, basically all densities are represented with rho, and I'm not sure why. So the energy density is the almost the exact same thing. However, you, you instead of subtracting that potential energy, you add it because it's energy. So that yeah, or those are the two equations. Oh, okay. Um, excellent. So you've got the pressure and, and you've got the energy density. And um, let's see. So I guess for how, how do those compare? Is there a is there a relationship between pressure and, and energy density? Well, sure. Let's say that the universe stopped expanding, then the change in the expansion rate over time would just be zero because it would stop expanding. And so when we erase this term, we get minus u uh, minus function and plus function. And so you can say that the pressure is equal to minus one times the energy density, or p is minus rho. Oh, and that, that would make the universe expand. That would be, uh, oh, that's very interesting. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science. Brought to you by Brilliant.org.